Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Yeah, will you buy your ticket? Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So, he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. They got All guns. right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. That's him, Vito. Wait, that bastard. We got them all. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm going to get over here. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, 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 We're come coming on. for you, Porky. Come on, show yourself. I'm going in. What the fuck's the matter with you? You shoot like my sister. <clears throat> I won't want to get you your man, son. Oh, fuck. Watch out! What the fuck was that? This whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of balls. Back me up, oh, no. Vito. Oh. oh god! Oh god, no! Hit the button, Vito. Come on, we're taking the elevator. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. We should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Upstairs.
<laughs> Don't kill me! Please! I got a wife! You should have thought about your I, wife I, I, before. I'm doing your wife! Just don't kill me! Oh, for Christ's sake! <laughs> Don Clemente sends his regards. Oh! Fuck! I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. Oh God. Oh yeah, it's bleeding all Son over. Son of a. Place. Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor. Okay, okay, you take idiot. it easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the car. Oh, come on, Marona. You're heavier than you look. That fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy, you missed him by a mile. Hey, careful! No. Please, it hurts. I don't want to die. Yeah, well, you can walk if you don't want to get moaned. Oh! I don't need to get too Fuck! Ah! This whole fucking place is coming apart. Hurry up and die, you little. Gotta hurry. Fire spread. God damn it, I know it. This is my 13th country. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. You mean, you lucky bastard! All right. Oh God. Oh, oh. Ah, fuck. It's just a scratch. The doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. <clears throat> yeah? And what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. <sighs> Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. Go any faster? Going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. Hey, Vito, step on it. Henry sweat like a whore in church back here. You know what make me drive faster? You start as it. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. El Greco? Who's a doctor? Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. we will be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here.
Park, right in front. You all Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, or he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry! We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know this could've waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll <sighs> stay here with him. Meet me in my place. <sighs> Alright. You're in my way. No, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Fido.
Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung on Mama to telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the Feds knew about any of my other crime activities. To be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Murderers, child molesters, they are all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. Make problems, you son of a bitch! Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get no. back in line. <laughs> no. no. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terran Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose. Just long enough to get yous cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. 
Do what you're fucking told. Listen, freak boy. If you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hellhole because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, table! Come on, you grown retard. You and your boyfriend Barbara are dead! This is... Like you, for breakfast. you eat faggots for breakfast? Kick his ass, O'Neal! Stop his fucking brain! Yeah! Kick his ass! 
Ethan. Did you hear me? Break it out of here! Move it!